Today, we are receiving a very engaged Ocean Innovator. She's a founder of the Only But campaign. She's an environmentalist and anti-litter campaigner based in Victoria, advocating for cleaner beaches. She has received many awards for her actions and she's inspiring her community to reduce litter and protect marine life. Everyone, please welcome Josephine Jones, founder of the Only But campaign. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Thank you, Josephine. Um, so today we would like to start with a very important question. What is the Only But campaign and why did you create this campaign? The Only But campaign is an anti-litter campaign for the world's biggest single-use plastic, which is cigarette butts. Um, a lot of people don't realise that cigarette butts are plastic. And when we talk about plastic to the ocean, we could see that, that cigarette butts made up for nearly 50% of the litter count, which meant that if we were able to re-educate people to um, put their butts in the bin, then we'd be able to halve plastic to the ocean. Um, so that's why we started it. So what are your actions? So a lot of the time we find that when it comes to anti-litter, um, that people can be quite aggressive. And I suppose when you're wanting to inspire behaviour change, you can't make people feel bad and wrong. So we went for a more psychological approach, which was to have fun um, and to <clears throat> um, use the an entendre for the word but. So we say this is the only type of but we want to see in our oceans and they're healthy butts. So you can see here behind me is people who have felt passionate about um, litter and they wanted to make a statement, but oftentimes people feel that they're powerless. And so we wanted to show people that you're not powerless and that you can join the campaign. It's free, everybody's got a butt and it's using your butt wisely. And what are your needs and how can we help you? Well, I think just being a, having the opportunity to raise a conversation around cigarette butt littering is really great. Um, having conversations about any issue is raising awareness. And once we have those conversations, people are like, oh, my God, I see cigarette butts everywhere. Or people are in inspired to, to create greater change. For me, I'd like to see the Only But campaign become a bigger campaign. At the moment, we rely heavily on people volunteering their, their butts for a great cause. And so, yeah, I suppose moving forward, it would be great to be able to see some of the initiatives that we've got, like for hand bins on beaches, um, because we find that enabling people to do the right thing actually raises the standard. Um, so, yeah, so I suppose it's about getting some assistance, being able to um, implement some of the additional ideas like ground stenciling that always works and, bin, and hand bins on beaches, which is exciting because that's it's doubling up on the education there. Now, many people consider cigarette littering as a less acceptable form of public littering. Um, how do you think uh, it can be changed? Well, that was the interesting thing about the Only But campaign is, is so we did our own research and then we actually saw that the Victorian Litter Action Alliance did their research too. So cigarette smokers who litter, so that six in 10 Australians use the ground as an ashtray as an example, um, they don't see their cigarette butt as litter. So changing that perception is actually about educating people that cigarette butts are plastic and plastic to the ocean starts in our streets and that basically we don't do that here so it's kind of that nicer approach and can you tell us more about your awards uh, i heard you had many different awards across the different years and um what are these awards making uh, and helping your campaign yes uh, i think i as a graphic designer, people often say we're artists, but we're more problem solvers. So really, I, 
In 2017, I collected 31,000 cigarette butts from our foreshore um, and I was involved in the seaside scavenge and we were picking up thousands of butts each year and I thought every day when I picked up litter, so I've demonstrated the collection of 5.6 tonnes of litter in five years, um, I, I kept thinking, oh, I can do better, I can do it better, how can I inspire people to to change and so I began to create graphics in relation to that which I then received the Dame Phyllis Frost Award for long-standing contribution to the environment. Um, I then began working with Woolworths in Rye which is the busiest supermarket in Australia um, to reduce littering so stopping it at the source um, and then I went on to receive Citizen of the Year for the Mornington Peninsula, which is just a huge honour. And, um, and then went on to receive an Australian of the Year Award, so the Local Hero recipient for Victoria. So all of those, all of those awards are nomination-based, um, but I suppose I never saw the value in those sorts of awards, to be very, very honest. Um, in fact, I didn't even know they had a citizen of the year. Um, but I do definitely uh, give thanks every day for those opportunities because they've given me the ability to have uh, a, a bigger voice and to persist in my, in my Pollyanna dream that people will begin to realise, hey, you know, we are responsible for our actions as individuals and... All we need to do is take a little bit of an extra walk and finish our ritual by putting our butt in the bin if we choose to smoke. Josie, you're so inspiring. Oh. Um, have you seen uh, any encouraging results uh, on cigarette littering thanks to environmental education? It's amazing because when I first entered into the litter prevention arena, as I said before, people were very, very negative and I love inspiring behaviour change and I think as a graphic designer, you know, I was saying before, you, you want to create something that makes people laugh or, or, or what have you and I've seen that that culture is changing and I've seen the consciousness of people growing and, and I see that people now, uh, you know, that this advocacy that where I say to people, you know, be kind. We don't hit a, ch a child for learning how to walk and we should be the same when we educate people. If we want people to care, then we need to care about how people feel when we approach them about doing the wrong thing. And as I said before, most people who litter cigarette butts are not aware that it's, that it's plastic. And so overcoming those hurdles and having a bit of fun and making a joke and removing shame and blame has been a really big part of, of what I've been advocating. And I can see that coming along. Thank you very much, Josie. Uh, we'll finish with a two second message you would like to give to our people of action today. Uh, my message is if you're serious about plastic to the ocean, and you'd like to do something, then I encourage you to put your butt on the line and join our online campaign on Instagram. And I thank you very much for your time today. And there we go. That was Ocean Innovators release number 10, celebrating 10 years to achieve the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Don't forget to press the bell button to subscribe and we'll see you next time.